change Pacific Oglo looked increasingly alarmed as two years ago, the flow reached its peak. By January 2016 three of Pasnik Oglo's first choice centre-backs, Trent Sainsbury, Matthew Spirinovich and Ryan McGowan, had gone to China. Tim Cahill was already there, having taken a deal that Tommy Jerk declined. Trent Sainsbury played 34 games in China but is now on loan in Switzerland. Source, Getty Image Switch A Ruse, Aussies and Shop Window Wood to Watch, Tasty Matchups and Banana Skins of Ogino, the Greek striker Pasta Koglo courted for the Socceroos, switched to China around the same time. A year later, Robbie Cruz and fringe Socceroo James Holland went the same way. James Troisi quit Juventus for Saudi Arabia, then after six months went to China. Jokes were made among agents about creating the Asia Ruse, and then the gravy train, just as suddenly, dried up. Desperate to boost its own players, the Chinese FA capped the number of foreigners who could play in a game. Players also got tired of multiple instances of non-payment, particularly when they fell out of favor. At one stage the players' union was chasing almost $3 million in unpaid wages from Chinese clubs. Though Sainsbury is officially still on the books of Jiangsu Sunning after a loan move to Switzerland, only one Australian is now playing in China. For all that some claimed, and still claim, that there were football reasons for going to China, the primary motivation was simple. Tim Cahill played for Shanghai Shenhua and Hangzhou Green Town in China. Source, Getty Images, I obviously only went there for the money, said Cruz this week, and he was hardly the only one, I challenge anyone in any profession, who is offered 15 to 20 times their salary, not to change jobs, said Tony Rallis, Sainsbury's agent, I find it strange when players get criticized for wanting to maximize their income, isn't that what most people do, Sainsbury has spoken of wanting to earn enough so his father didn't have to break his body anymore by working. The sums involved were mind-boggling. The salaries for the likes of Sainsbury and Spirinovich were multi-million dollar. One player who went on a short-term contract earned $750,000. Debate has raged over whether the football standard was worth that money. Ever since Sainsbury went to China, every time he has played for the national team the consensus has been how important he is to the team and how he has raised his game, said Source, Getty Image Some players chose a different path. Jackson Irvine turned offers from China said to be around $8 million at the time many of his teammates were heading there, it wasn't the right time in my career. Irvine told News Corp Australia this week, that's absolutely no criticism intended of those who did go, everyone's circumstances are different, it would have been a purely sign-up now greater than the latest sports news, in your inbox daily.